guys, today we are going to cook a plantain. Looks just like a banana, doesn't it? This is a plantain. They're right next to the bananas in the grocery store when you're looking for them. So, they're a little bit harder to peel than bananas, so to get myself started, I'm going to cut off the ends. I'm going to make a slit lengthwise like this through this really tough and fibrous peel. And instead of peeling it back like a banana, I'm kind of going to peel it sideways. It's really, I'm really wrestling with it here. It still looks like a banana. Kind of smells like a banana. It's going to taste a lot more like potatoes than bananas because it's just not that sweet. What we're going to do with it today is we're going to make chips like potatoes. This makes a really fun snack or a starchy side dish to your dinner. I'm going about a quarter inch thick. I'm getting some fancy diagonal slices here by total accident, but don't they look fancy? Yeah, totally fancy. over on the stove frying up right now. Let's check and see how they're starting to look on the other side. Oh, they're getting kind of golden. I think I want them to get almost a little brown. I'm going to let them go a little longer. While they're frying, I'm going to sprinkle a little salt on them. I have fancy schmancy pink salt. You can use regular salt. Pretty much tastes the same. They're getting there. It smells really good. This is also a very affordable treat. Plantain was only 33 cents each at my grocery store today. Oh, look at this. Now we have a little bit of golden edges. That's just what I'm looking for. I'm going to flip them all over with my forks. And the oil I'm using today is just canola oil. Whatever oil you like to fry things in works great. They don't take very long to fry up. I just look for the golden color on both sides. You can also Test them with a fork or a knife and see if they're kind of more um, soft and tender in the middle um, and they're crispy on the outside. These are good at room temperature, but they're really, really good hot. And I would tell you if they're good heated up later, but there's never any leftovers, so I'm not really sure. But there you have it, a fun and different snack to make if you've never picked up these really strange looking banana looking things at the grocery store, I think you should add it to your grocery list. And I'll see you guys soon at the library.